Hello, lovely people. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> if you've been here before, it's lovely to see you again. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Sophie, and it's a great pleasure to have your company today. It does not want to stand up, does it, this bag? <laughs> so I wanted to do a quick comparison of these two bags. So this one is the Mulberry Darley small crossbody bag in colour oak. And this one is the Anthony uh, in size small in the colour oxblood. And I wanted to compare them because even though they are vastly different, the capacity is quite similar in terms of obviously what they'll hold. Um, and so depending on, I guess, your preference in terms of style would depend on which one you go for if you just wanted one. They were the same price as well, so I paid 495 for the Darley and I paid 495 for the Anthony. The price has gone up though now, so don't quote me on the price. So they have the exact same colour hardware, as you can see. It's just the, the normal sort of mulberry gold. It's the exact same postman's lock on each bag and the grain of the leather is even the same. It's just obviously the colour is different and they are a different style. I'm going to lay that down because it's just going to keep falling. So this one obviously stands up under its own steam. You can see that quite obviously that, you know, because it's so broad at the bottom here and it's quite structured. It does stand up under its own steam because this one is a little bit more slouchy and not structured. And probably because of the way I've stacked the stuff inside, it does just want to fall forward. But you can see that it can stand on under its own steam. So the width of them at the bottom is quite similar. And obviously I think the Dolly just, which is this brown one, does just pip the Anthony to the post. And of course, this uh, Dali is broad all the way up, whereas this one does taper. But they are, you know, quite similar. So the Dali strap does come all the way off and it has little mini bulldog clips with mulberry written both sides on both clip. Whereas on the Antony, the strap is attached, you can't take it off. The strap of the Anthony itself is made out of canvas or webbing. I think on the Mulberry website they describe it as canvas. It is a tonal strap though, but because it's made out of webbing, whereas this Darley strap is leather, I think this bag does lend itself to a more casual setting, whereas this you can dress that up, I do believe, in my own personal opinion. So obviously the width of the straps, you can see they're vastly different. And the Darley has a buckle and holes in the strap. And you can see that when I got this bag, it was on that setting. You can see the, the damage, I guess, that's been caused by this buckle. The minute I've got, still got it on the longest setting, I've lost two and a half stone so far on Slimming World. And I still have to have my bags on the longest setting, but I'm getting there, so. I'm not worried. But yeah, I mean, that's something to be mindful of if, if you are bothered for damage and wear and tear on bags, that this buckle will do that. Whereas the Antony, I'll just move that one out of the way, get the, the brolly out of the way. Um, the Antony, it's a sliding strap. So it just has this buckle here that you can just extend to make longer or shorter. So the branding that's on this little buckle here is the only other branding aside from what's here on the postman's lock on this bag. Whereas on the Antony, it just has the branding here and nowhere else. It's not on any of the other hardware. So these bags do come in very similar colours as well. So these 
this oxblood and this oak are what they'd call core colours. Um, you can get this in the oak, you can get this in black. I've got this in black now, actually. You can get this in black, you can get this in the oxblood. So again, similar in that respect. So they both have, as I was saying earlier, the postman's lock and the branding that's on the inside of the bag is here on the Darley. Just says Mulberry England in the same gold letters. Whereas on the Anthony, it's on the inside here, just says Mulberry England. And you can see that they're lined slightly differently. So this one is Napa leather. This one is microfiber or suede, I'm not sure. And it does go all the way inside the bag here, the suede, you've got a little bit of leather here, the same as the outside, but in terms of where my things are sitting, it's suede. Whereas this one is completely leather lined in Napa. So the Darley has one pocket on the outside at the back, which is, I guess, the same size as a credit debit card. I don't ever use this pocket for anything other than a parking ticket. I wouldn't put a bank card in there personally. Whereas there's nothing on the outside of the Anthony, but on the inside here, it does have quite a large pocket. So way bigger than a bank card. Inside I've just got my crystals, some wipes and a till receipt. And that goes, you know, quite far down. And on the inside here, I will show you properly when this stuff's out, but there's no other internal pocket. This is just one hole in here now. Whereas in here, you do have three card slots there, as you can see. I don't ever use them, but they are there. You can see the lining all the way down inside there is all the Napa leather. So this bag is a lot more smushy. And as I was just touching on earlier, I think because it's not as structured as this one, it, it is a more casual bag. You can get away with using this in a way more casual setting. And again, because of the strap makes it more casual. Whereas this one, you can dress it up or dress it down because it's more leather, if that makes sense. So I'll go ahead and take the stuff from the Anthony and put it into the Dali and we'll see what the, um, what the difference is in terms of capacity. So I've got a hand cream, hand sanitizer, which is deformed. It's only a cheap one from Aldi. I've got a lipstick. This is a Dior lipstick in whatever the famous red is. I don't know, is it 999 or 666? Something like that. I've got my six key from Louis. Vuitton. I've got an atomizer, purple atomizer that has alien in. Alien comes in a purple bottle, hence the purple atomizer helps me to remember what's inside. Oh, I've got another lipstick. This is a MAC lipstick in, I want to say Fabi. I think that's Fabi, that colour. It's one of my all time favourite lipsticks. I've got my clay by Louis Vuitton with medication in. I've got what is representing my phone, which is just my phone case, I've got an iPhone 10, and then I've just got my little um, Rosalie coin purse from Louis Vuitton. And there's nothing else in there. And what I was just saying earlier was that this is just one big hole and you can see that there's no other pockets in there. You've just got the pocket on the front here. Whereas the little Darley, you have the little pocket on the back here and then you've got the three card slots as well which i think is quite functional actually for such a small bag it's quite nice to have that because it just means that you don't have to take a wallet so i'll pop this anthony to one side she says stay no nope, it's not going to sit there is it let's put it up here instead and i'll go ahead and try and get what came out of the anthony in in the Dali. So I'll start with the phone. So it won't go portrait as it as it would in the Anthony. So 
I'm going to have to put it in that way. I'm going to put it so that this solid back is, is facing the back of the bag. So let's put my, it's a Victorine wallet then, it's not a Victorine at all, it's um, Rosalie. So I'll put the Rosalie in next. I would always need the car key, so let's just go ahead and put that in as well. You can see that quite a lot of the space has been taken up already by those three things. So let's put the clay in. Hand sanitizer wouldn't go anywhere without that, so let's just put that down the side. Excuse me, down the side, you can see there the phone at the back and then the clay, the wallet, six key, sanitizer. So where would that go? Can we put that down the other side? I think so. So I'll just put the hand cream here at the opposite end. So we've got three small items. Oh my gosh, sorry, butter fingers. Three small items here two lipsticks and an atomizer. Obviously, we, we, we can't forget that I had my crystal in the Antony, plus a till receipt and two wipes. So it, it, I'm not gonna get the rest of the stuff in here. I'll probably get a little bit extra in, but not all of it will go in. So let's put the till receipt on the outside of the bag. I'll just fold it over again, actually. So I'm just going to put the till receipt, it's just gone down inside that pocket. I mean, I could, I suppose, put, I mean, that just, yeah, you could, I wouldn't personally, but you could, so they're going to come out. So I would like to put that in though if I can. So let's just posh, posh, that was a cross between push and pop. So let's just push pop up the crystal at the front here you can see there and then one lipstick on the top and I'll put that sort of Katie cornered on top of the car key which is where it was in the Antony because I don't reach for the car key all the time because I've got contact with Sentry so I can just use you know put that there that's quite a big lipstick actually for what is quite a small bag but you can see that it's not I mean, it, it, it is a little bit misshapen here, but the leather is so forgiving, it doesn't really matter, even though it's quite structured. So, you know, technically we can get the stuff in. Does it fasten? No, it doesn't. So let's take the Mac out and the atomizer. I'm gonna take that out as well, which is the dual lipstick. Just see if it'll fasten now. So it does fasten now. You can see that it's not bul bulging anywhere. But I just want to see if we can get at least one of these little three products in. So let's try the MAC lipstick because it's smaller than the Dior. So again, I've just popped it directly over the car key. And then would we get that in as well? Am I just being so cheeky here? Just pop that, you know, at a push. It's an, it's, I've put it on top of the rose leaf. So let's just see. So yeah, you can, yeah, you could take an atomizer and a lipstick with you if you wanted to, if you didn't mind them being on the top. Would they go? I'm gonna just get rid of those two products first. I mean, can I just squish them? I mean, I've just sort of, you know, you can see what I've done there, squished them. And then atomizer lipstick. So that's really good. You can see that that is chock-a-block all the way up to the top. I've got things, whereas when we opened this Antony, I could have got a little scarf on the top of here or something because it's it's a taller bag so it obviously makes sense that that if this one's chock-a-block this one's going to have a gap so the only thing that i couldn't get in here that came out of here was was this red lipstick 
which I mean who doesn't have a coat pocket you can just stick it in a pocket if you really needed it so I think that this bag is amazing considering that it's taken exactly what was in here almost so I really hope that this was helpful and I really hope that it was enjoyable and as always guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video take care Bye-bye.